Here we will do a horizontal alignment using program 11 with the coupling attached. The program prompts us to input the tape measurements. Since we have already taken them, we can input the distance S to M as 6 inches. The halved distance S to C is 3, but is actually 2.5, so we overwrite this. The distance S to foot 1 is 10 inches, and the distance S to foot 2 is 16 inches. The beams have already been centered, so we open the target windows and move the measuring units to the 9 o'clock position, as prompted by the display. We position the units with the spirit levels and press enter to record the measurement. Next, the display prompts us to record at the 12 o'clock position. Finally, onto the 3 o'clock using the spirit level to position the heads each time. We can now see the measurement results. The top part of the screen is the vertical plane and we can only see 2 feet which means we have to lift or lower the machine in this plane. The lower part of the screen is the horizontal plane and we are looking straight down on it so we can see all 4 feet. This means we slide the machine left or right to align. Starting at the top of the screen, the first number shows the amount of offset in the vertical plane measured at the coupling, which is negative 19.5 thou. The next number is 1.5 thou per inch of angular error, again measured at the coupling. To correct the vertical measured misalignment, you need to adjust the feet as indicated by the two numbers below. In this case, you would add 29.5 mils or thou of shims to both of the front feet and 37 thou of shims to both back feet. Remember, when you see a negative number, you add. Now in the lower horizontal part of the screen, the first number is 3.5 thou. This is the amount of offset. The angular misalignment is 7 thou per inch. Both results are measured at the coupling in the horizontal plane. To correct this, we have to move the 57.5 thou at the front foot and the 100.5 thou at the back. Notice that the feet are black. This indicates that it is reading live in the horizontal plane, so these results will change as we make the corrections in the vertical plane. We will now make corrections in the vertical plane. After loosening the bolts, we can add the amount of shim shown on the screen to both the front and back feet of the machine. Once we add the correct amount of shim on all four feet, we can now work in the horizontal plane. To correct the horizontal misalignment, you need to move the machine by the amount shown. You can see the values change in lifetime movement on the display as we correct the horizontal plane misalignment using the jacking bolts. If we wanted to have it read live in the vertical plane, you simply turn the heads to the 12 o'clock position and press the button 5. We have made all the corrections. Now the trick is to keep the machine from moving as we retighten the bolts. Once they are tight, we have the option of pressing the button 9 or the back arrow to remeasure. Here we press the back arrow. The screen prompts us to move the measuring units to the 9 o'clock position and record the measurement. We do the same for 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock. Again, we do not rush this. We want a good stable reading. Remember, it's easier to hit a fixed target than a moving one. The results in the vertical plane are 1 thou for offset and 0 for angle.
In the horizontal plane, it is 1.5 thou for the offset and again 0 for the angle. This is an excellent result. The tolerance for a 1725 RPM machine is that 4 thou is acceptable and 2 thou is excellent for offset, with 0.8 thou per inch as acceptable and 0.5 thou per inch as excellent we are well within the excellent range and we did it in one move. Let's press button 4 and input our RPM. 1000 to 2000 is the range we want and as you can see here all the half couplings are black so we are within tolerance and the job is done. 